Have you ever wondered how the ancient Romans, without the aid of modern technology, were able to create architectural marvels that still stand today? The answer lies in their unmatched understanding of engineering, their innovative spirit, and an unerring pursuit of aesthetic beauty. From the grandeur of the Colosseum to the intricate design of the aqueducts, Roman architecture and infrastructure are a testament to a civilization that was centuries ahead of its time. These structures serve as enduring symbols of Rome's might and majesty, a testament to a civilization that was centuries ahead of its time. Their creations didn't just serve a functional purpose, they were a declaration of Roman identity and a testament to their ingenuity. The Romans' architectural prowess is not just evident in the structures that have survived, but also in the lasting influence they have had on architecture and engineering. Let's delve into the world of ancient Rome, where engineering and artistry blended to create structures that have stood the test of time. The story of Roman architecture is a tale of evolution, innovation and grandeur. As we journey back in time, we find the earliest Roman structures were heavily influenced by the Greeks and the Etruscans. However, the Romans were not mere imitators. They absorbed these influences and with their innate ingenuity, began to create an architectural style that was uniquely their own. In the midst of this architectural evolution, there were two key developments that set Roman architecture apart from anything that had come before. The first was the invention of a building material that would revolutionize the world of construction, concrete. Unlike marble, which was the favored building material of the Greeks, concrete was not only cheaper and more readily available, but it was also more versatile. It could be poured into molds to take on any shape or form, allowing the Romans to stretch their imagination and reach new architectural heights. The second key development was the Romans' mastery of the arch and the dome. While the arch was not a Roman invention, they were the first to truly realize its potential. Arches allowed for larger, more open spaces and could support much more weight than a traditional post and lintel system. This laid the foundation for another Roman innovation, the dome. Domes were essentially arches spun 360 degrees, creating a vast enclosed space. The most famous example of this is the Pantheon with its magnificent freestanding dome. But Roman architecture wasn't solely about grandeur and aesthetics, it was also about functionality. Their buildings were designed to fulfill specific needs, whether it was a public bath, an amphitheater or a road. Every arch, every dome, every column had a purpose. In essence, Roman architecture was a fusion of form and function, a blend of the practical and the profound. It was a testament to their engineering prowess and their artistic vision. Their architectural genius was a reflection of their empire, ambitious, innovative and grand. These innovations were not just for grandeur, they served practical purposes, which we shall explore next. Roman engineering was not just about aesthetics, it was a blend of form and function. A prime example of Roman ingenuity is their aqueducts. These colossal structures, some standing over 50 feet tall, were built to transport fresh water from distant sources into cities and towns. Without the use of modern machinery or tools, these aqueducts were constructed with precision and balance, maintaining a constant yet subtle downhill gradient to allow water to flow naturally. The Romans applied their understanding of the natural world and their mathematical prowess to achieve this engineering marvel. Let's shift our attention to the extensive network of roads the Romans built. With over 250,000 miles of roads crisscrossing the empire, they connected remote territories to the heart of Rome. Constructed in multiple layers for durability, a typical Roman road consisted of a foundation of large stones, a middle layer of smaller stones and concrete, and a surface layer of paving stones. Their roads were so well constructed that some are still in use today, a testament to Roman engineering prowess. And who could forget the Colosseum? An architectural marvel. The Colosseum was a grand amphitheatre that could accommodate over 50,000 spectators. It showcased the Romans' advanced understanding of structural engineering, including the use of arches and concrete. With its intricate system of underground passages and elevators, it was able to stage grand spectacles featuring gladiatorial combats. 
wild animal hunts and even naval battles. The Romans were not just builders, they were innovators. They didn't just create buildings, they created systems, infrastructure that would stand the test of time. Their engineering feats were the product of a society that valued practicality and functionality as much as aesthetics. These structures were not only impressive in their time, but they have also influenced modern architecture and engineering. The Romans' legacy lives on in our bridges, our stadiums and our cities. Their engineering marvels continue to inspire us, reminding us of what humanity can achieve when it combines creativity with practicality. The legacy of Roman architecture is visible even today, thousands of years later. The Romans were not just builders, they were visionaries, their designs transcending time and space. We see the remnants of their ingenuity and the grandeur of modern architecture. The influence of Rome is not confined to the past, it is a living, breathing entity that continues to shape the world we live in. Consider the concept of the dome, a quintessential element of Roman architecture. The Pantheon, with its magnificent dome, was a marvel of engineering in its time. Today, this design is seen in structures as diverse as the United States Capitol building and the iconic St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. The Romans' use of arches, too, is echoed in modern architecture. The aqueducts, the Colosseum, these great structures were held aloft by the strength of the Roman arch. Today, we see this design principle applied in bridges, gateways, and even in the humble doorway of our homes. Then there's the Roman innovation of concrete. This seemingly mundane material was a game-changer in construction. It allowed the Romans to build bigger, higher and more complex structures. Today, concrete is the backbone of modern construction, a testament to the enduring influence of Roman ingenuity. The Romans also perfected the use of columns for both structural support and aesthetic appeal. From the White House to the British Museum, the Roman architectural signature of grand columns graces numerous modern edifices. The Romans were pioneers. Their architectural feats are testament to their understanding of aesthetics, functionality and engineering. Their influence extends far beyond their time and geography, shaping the skyline of cities around the world. The Romans left an indelible mark on the world of architecture, a legacy that continues to inspire and awe. Their timeless designs have not only survived but thrived, proving that true innovation is not bound by the confines of time or place. So. What makes Roman architecture and infrastructure so captivating? Well, we've journeyed through the architectural wonders of Rome, marveled at the rise of its monumental structures, and delved into the engineering feats that made it all possible. Now, let's tie it all together in this grand conclusion. Rome, in its glorious antiquity, wasn't merely a city of stone and marble. It was a testament to humanity's boundless ingenuity, a monument to an era that fused aesthetics and practicality in a way that was nothing short of revolutionary. The Romans, in their wisdom, knew that architecture was not merely about erecting structures, but about creating spaces that resonated with their culture, their ethos, their spirit. Take the Colosseum, for instance. It wasn't just an amphitheatre, it was a symbol of Rome's might, a stage for the grand spectacles that enthralled the masses. Its design, with those countless arches and columns, was a triumph of not only artistic merit but also architectural genius. Even today it stands as a testament to the Romans' mastery over stone and mortar. Then consider the aqueducts, those magnificent channels that carried water across vast distances. They weren't just feats of engineering, they represented the Romans' deep understanding of the natural world, their ability to harness its resources for the betterment of society. The aqueducts were, in essence, the lifeblood of Rome, and their remnants today tell tales of an era when water flowed freely, nourishing an empire. And who can forget the Pantheon, that grand temple with its massive dome? It wasn't just a place of worship. It was a testament to the Romans' understanding of geometry, their mastery over space and form. The Pantheon stands today as a symbol of Roman innovation, a beacon of their architectural prowess. But perhaps what truly sets Roman architecture apart is its enduring legacy. These structures, in all their grandeur, have withstood the test of time. They echo through the ages, a testament to a civilization that dared to dream big to reach for the stars. They remind us that architecture is not just about building. 
It's about creating lasting impressions, about shaping the very fabric of society. Indeed, Roman architecture wasn't just about stone, mortar and marble. It was about the spirit of a people, their vision, their ambition. It was about an empire that reached for the heavens and etched its mark in stone. It was about a civilization that understood the true essence of architecture, the fusion of form and function, aesthetics and practicality, art and science. The Romans may have been ancient, but their architectural prowess was timeless. Their engineering marvels continue to stand tall, a testament to their ingenuity and vision.